I made the point earlier this week that the 39-year-old New South Wales Premier, Dominic Perrette, is unarguably the de facto leader of Australia and the Liberal Party, because whatever else might be said, we're at last emerging from the dark days of lockdowns, fear and alarmism, where lives and livelihoods have been destroyed, businesses irreparably damaged. Perrette has changed all of that, and other states are following. One of the problems in Australia, with too many political leaders, is they seem to believe in nothing other than getting re-elected. And this is where Perrottet stands out. He's on the record as believing in something. As my colleague Rowan Dean reminded me in The Spectator of October 9, the new Premier of New South Wales wrote five years ago on this critical issue of freedom, and we've been through a long period, haven't we, where we've had to endure the reckless and ruthless obsession of politicians with denying us every freedom of every kind. As you know, you couldn't sit on a park bench. We were told you couldn't go outside. We were told you couldn't speak to people. You couldn't visit ailing relatives or say goodbye to dead ones. Dominic Perrottet wrote in 2016, and I quote, Recently I received a letter as New South Wales Finance and Property Minister demanding that I urgently remove the Germain Greer plaque from the Sydney Writers' Walk in Circular Quay. The reason for the demand, sent from a concerned, vigilant citizen, was that Miss Greer holds horrifically bigoted views on transgender issues so her name can no longer defile public places in New South Wales. Writes Pirate, as Stalin erased Trotsky from Soviet photographs, so Miss Greer must be expunged. Our public places sanitised. That's progress, comrade. Says Dominic, Miss Greer is a particularly interesting target for the left because she was once its darling, a feminist pioneer at the vanguard of the gender revolution. She stuck it to man and is still sticking it to him. But wrote Dominic Perrottet, quote, True progress demands a truly free exchange of ideas because the best ideas are forged in the furnace of fierce disagreement. The battle of ideas, where wits are sharpened, arguments blunted, minds expanded, and gradually, truth revealed. Nothing, wrote Perrottet, has made this clearer to me than the responsibility of legislative decision-making. Free debate is simply indispensable to that process. But I have felt the chill setting in, the reluctance to speak out, even amongst colleagues, on matters of huge importance for fear of falling foul of the PC police. Wrote Dominic Perrottet, this is the path to dead-end, unthinking government. If democracy is to survive, he wrote, we must defend freedom. We must resist the growing pressure to deploy the state's firepower to enforce a progressive agenda that criminalises dissent. Because you can only have progress, he said, with a contest of ideas. And you can only have a contest of ideas if you are free. Unquote. Our viewers, stand and cheer right now. Get up. We've found a fair dingham politician. His name is Dominic Perrottet. He's the Premier of New South Wales. And may I say to you, wherever you're watching us, what he has said and what I have just given to you surely must be the text for our nation. What do you think? Alan at skynews.com.au or the text line 0414 000848.